Marhaba ya shabab. Welcome to a brand new video. In the previous video we um, we are testing the, the endpoint for the patch request and now I want to continue with the post request endpoint which is testing is quite similar so let's continue. Let's start. Yalla. So I would name it given uh, create task and task task request and task is created then check all the properties <coughs> okay okay mm -hmm. Yeah, the typo. Okay, new line. Now we need uh, similar like here. We need a um, create request. So just type again request. Task create request. So we need to uh, give it here some values. We also take here our dummy task DTO. And basically we just can also copy this stuff from here. Copy it. We just need to make sure uh, here on this line should be the local date time. So we just call local date time dot now. And don't forget to give it here um, a comma, and now it looks good. And as you, as you might already uh, thought about, now time, the time comes to mock again. So again, our when method is going to be used when. So when, when, when. Uh, we call our mock service with create task. And we give it our request as an argument. So then it should return our dummy task DTO. Nice. And now we can and again. We can just basically copy this line. And this here. Just close it here. And now comes again the funny part, the mock and we see result, uh, result matches. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm making a mistake, mock and we see it's request builders and now we need the post method, post. And same rule as before, we go back to our controller. This is our create endpoint, take it. Just make sure you use before API slash create. Okay, looks good. And we need to send set again content type and uh, the actual content. And for that, I would suggest just copy that from the uh, patch method. So this I would put again on a new line. So da, 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 da. I think I made a mistake here. Uh, uh, this <laughs> funny thing, if you copy things, it never works properly. And uh, yes, and I think yes, I need to close it here three times. So yeah, just make sure you copy. You know what you're doing when you're copying stuff. Sometimes you get confused, like me. And uh, yeah, but by the way, why why does this look a little bit different? Uh, maybe I will. Okay, 
Okay, now it looks a little bit also above a little bit nicer and more. Um, you get a better overview if it's like formatted like this, just a minor thing. Uh, yeah, now we can again start using our result actions. But first, of course, we need to uh, create the result actions and say. Ah, we already created it, now we can use it. Mm. I was just a little bit confused where the expect doesn't come. Now we need the mock MVC result matches before we use the request builders. And here we can again say status. Status should be mid state is okay. Okay. This looks good. Uh, we can copy again this line, paste it in here. And basically, we can also copy those lines here. Okay. That should also work now. Just now we are using the post uh, before we use the patch. But, uh, but in terms of testing, it's just the only reason, I mean, the only difference are the endpoints and of course the HTTP method. Okay. So we have post, we had before patch, we also had one get call. So now I would say just focus on the delete. Okay, new test. Hmm, given ID for delete request and pass is deleted, then check for the response message. Okay, uh, we need first to say what's our expected message. And we need to look it up in our task service. Here we have the delete task. So basically you can just, this would be the flow. This is our delete endpoint. We see we have here the service. <coughs> it calls this, this method, <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, delete task, go inside, this is the message, we just copy it in our, here, in our local variable, so this needs to be our global field, task ID, and then again, do the run block, not service, delete task task ID then return our expected message our expected message create again the result actions Actions should be mock and we see dot perform. Mm -hmm. Mock and we see request builders. Here we have, of course, a delete method. We need to again tell it which endpoint it should take. Uh, it's this endpoint, delete and ID, the path variable ID. But before the quotation, say API slash delete. And here, of course, we take our 
task ID causal field nice and that should be it now we can assert or look at the result actions and say what we are expecting and expect Result measures status, and here we can again just say mm, is and 200. You can already take the is okay, but I, I want to show you there are multiple ways to test uh, some things. And expect now we have to expect what the content should be so let's say content dot string nice string expected message and that should be it for this method I will just quickly run everything uh, yeah. In the meanwhile, while this is running here, uh, I want to just emphasize what we have done so far. We have where it is. We have um, here it is. We start with the API all tasks endpoint to test it, and we did um, tests the not found exception message and the one for is a bad request then we continued to test the patch endpoint which is here and in this video we did the uh, um, post endpoint and the last method we add, add, added was delete the delete endpoint and yeah they are just uh, and see it's finished and everything works so far uh, every test passed alhamdulillah thanks to god <laughs> and, and yeah but there are actually three methods three endpoints missing these are the three which are missing open minus task or close minus task and tasks uh, id uh, i would highly emphasize you to give it a try to implement those three on your own. Um, it's quite similar to, I mean, I, I think you guess it, it's similar to this one, but mm, testing is something you also need to try it yourself to, to understand what you're doing. And yeah, just, I would say just test it. And yeah, otherwise, if you, if you get stuck, um, you can, I will, in this branch here, you will find uh, all the implementation part underscore 24 you will find all the implementation if you get stuck and you cannot implement it by your own it will be here provided in this branch you will see all the implementations uh, for for these three uh, endpoints and yeah that's basically it for now forget forgot to uh, add following uh, what you can do is when you finished everything and um, you can just say here um, click on the test class or on Kotlin on the Kotlin folder here in test then say uh, run test with coverage then you see a coverage how much you covered from your, from your actual application how many lines are covered by the way I deleted in this application tests file which was created at the beginning uh, but anyways as you can see every test went through then you see here you should you should see this ribbon here coverage and then you can see how much you covered all the green things are the things you have covered um, basically yeah that's the main point here uh, the entire ser task service also 100% covered uh, yeah that's just an info for you when you develop your own project. 
this you, that you can run with coverage and you see okay which lines of code I have to write tests for and yeah that's basically the whole series right now this is the last video and I hope you liked it so far you should be very proud of you you made it through all videos all 24 by now and I hope you liked it the next video uh, series will be about um, a docker droplet how to set up nginx and later extra series about github actions that we can take this this backend application and uh, run, run it in our CI CD pipeline and also deploy it um, manually on our docker droplet if you liked it please give it a like subscribe and yeah say in the comment section what I can improve what I should do better uh, yeah and if you like more videos like this whole tutorial series about backend development also let me know in the comment section below and yeah uh, thank you again for watching the whole series um, and yeah see you soon Ilalikaya Shabab.